Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 33. I'm Darina, and I am grateful that you're here with me tonight. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the intentions and goals that you set at the beginning of August, and we're going to go back and look over them, okay? So we do have 23 people in the room. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a podcast listener. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing to this podcast. And intention setting is something that a goal can be accomplished by just thinking our next step. It's as simple as that. So tonight we're going to do some things that we're going to talk specifically about how we set the goal, how we set the intention. Did we set an intention intention for August? Because it's the end of August. It's almost the beginning of a new month, almost moving into the third quarter. Yeah. September, we'll be moving into almost fourth quarter of the year. And in business, quarters mean a lot because it helps us to revamp over what we've experienced, you know, how we've been successful, if we've reached our financial goals, if we reached our opportunities that we set out to do. So tonight we're going to talk about setting your goals and making them happen. So while you're getting your notebooks, getting yourself together, getting your favorite drink, Um, We're going to give you a minute to get into the room. 23 people are here right now. Thank you so much for initiating this conversation and and just being on board with who we are at Chronicles of a Nonprofit. We are a nonprofit agency located in Youngstown, Ohio, where we help small businesses generate and get started and get creative ideas and expression to move them forward to their success. And we've been in business. The Skills to Success LLC program has been in business since 2006, working with those individuals who desire their dreams and who want to see them grow. Okay? We're both national and international, and we're just super excited to see the success of our program. So... Setting your goals and making them happen. We, there's an action plan for, you know, being successful. If we look at a 30-day incremental period, we're going to say there were some things that we promised ourselves at the beginning of the month that we were going to do, just like many of us promised things at the beginning of the year. New Year's resolutions, for example. I say it's more important to take bite-sized pieces of goal setting and use that goal setting to primarily create a vision, a goal for the short term. If we can set the intention for a short 30 day period of time, we're much more likely to be responsible and accountable for the things in which we're trying to pursue within a 30 day period than in a 360-day period of time. So these action plans may not be set and etched in stone, so don't think of it as a perfection, but think of it as a stepping stone to where you are going. You're setting the path, and you're walking your destiny, and you're performing the way that you need to perform in order to get to the area in which you're trying to go. That's all it is. It's like having that dream of seeing your house on a hill and you've dreamed about this house. You've manifested so many good positive things in this house and you finally recognize it in your dream. And then now you're going to seek out in the physical realm in order to go and see what's in this house. You have to see what you've manifested and created. So 
Why do we want to set intentions? Why do we want to go taking the step-by-step opportunity in order to go and find out what's at the top of the hill in that house? Because our mindsets dictate and tell us what the next moves are going to be. You know, these these beautiful things called rewards, called consequences, called um, opportunities, they just don't show up. You've been practicing the process for all this time. Now you're just taking the manifested step into pursuing it and making it real for yourself. This is a journey that only you can find can create for yourself, right? So why do we create the goals? Why do we have the goals and do the hard work towards, you know, being part of the project that we're trying to create for ourselves? Whether it runs smoothly or roughly, you know, having a goal, big or small, is part of making life work in the sense in which we want it to work. And it points us in a direction of where our mental states is telling us we need to go. Our next move, our next move. Okay. Now, the first thing we do when we're trying to set that opportunity to set the goal is to decide what it is we want to do. So I suggest my students um, who come to this, this podcast and they get the hands on you know, and the Q&A and emails and different things like that, I suggest you always have a journaling notebook. So you always put the date, the date, the month, the year. So you can go back and revisit it and say to yourself, these were the steps that I took to get to my success, whatever that success is. So when you create and decide that you're going to take that ultimate step to be different, change, set a goal, whether it's to stop smoking, whether it's to lose weight, whether it's to go back to school, whether it's to, you know, go get a job, whether it's to empower yourself to move beyond where you are at that particular moment. That is making a decision. And when you make that decision, you have to remind yourself what you've promised you. So writing it down is a very first critical initial step. Once we're moving into the writing it down stage, we're carefully visualizing a pattern or a pathway of thought. Our thought will maneuver through the process that's going to take us to that up that hill and to the destiny of looking at the house we've created in our mind. So the house is nothing more than a stepping stone to the goals in which we decide that we want and seeing it manifest before our eyes and looking at all the things, good and bad, indifferent, that we were holding within us. That's why there is a process called the letting go. It's not about being argumentative or debative to a decision that could distract you from the process of putting it down and writing an intention to securely, successfully drive you to where you're trying to go. But it is very vital and very important that you do see that light at the end of the tunnel because that is the thing that's going to keep you moving forward. And like I said, it's different from manifesting your goals within 30 days versus 365 days. Sometimes we forget and then we get complacent and then we get laxed and then we say, well, now I got to wait until next year. Too much of a break. What you want to do is go back to the drawing board the very next month. So September 1st is on its way. Why not set an intention and set the goal and put it into action and say what you're going to do by a certain time, not something that someone pushes you into doing. Oh, someone recently said that you had gained 10 pounds and you should lose a little bit of weight because it's for your health or whatever, or you went to the doctor and you realized that you had gained a little bit of weight. Um, So you may set an intention or a goal to go walking three times a week just so that you can balance what's going on. It's not about more or less losing the weight than it is about maintaining 
your health. And so when you maintain that helpful, that healthful wellness thought, then the weight automatically comes off. So as long as you're not focusing and thinking on that in a negative term, you will be fine. You will be fine. You won't have any issues with health or wellness or anything. So write down your intentions. Do not write down the negative thoughts that you feel. It's already bad enough that we've been conditioned to already hear those thoughts continually over and over and over and over again. So how about we just only write the good intentions? And when we write something negative and we go back and we review them because we're writing in our journal, entrepreneurs, we're writing in our journal every single day for 30 days. At the end of the third week, you want to go back. The goal of writing for three weeks is to go back and reiterate what you promised yourself, what you told yourself, what was more important at the beginning of the month. And then you're going to see if that intention is different the fourth week of the month to determine, hmm, was that as important as it was now as it was back on the, the 1st of August? And you'll realize that over time, your energy changes, it shifts, and it causes you to think in a different light. And that's why snapshotting your thoughts and your theories and your opinions and your values is so vital when you can go back and reread them, okay? So you want to ask yourself, what will your goal look like? When will you start your goal? And why is this goal important? That's even something that you can start journaling about and then tell someone about your goal that you feel you can trust. Not someone that will judge you for the goal in which you've created for yourself. Uh, Sometimes you can just maybe get online and Go to a group and start a group chat with a group that is specific to goal setting and visual visual manifestations, visions and manifestations. And you can like that group. And once you're in the group, you can actively talk about telling someone, you know, a goal in which you are trying to pursue. And it may be one that you're not working on at the moment because you don't want anyone to congest the perspective of what it is you're trying or working towards to manifest for yourself. Maybe it was the last goal you set. Maybe the intention was completely thought through and everything was good and the manifestation went very well the month before. And if it didn't, still use that manifestation because it is still in existence. It's still spoken to the universe, but what it is not is complete. So basically, if you connect yourself, entrepreneurs, with like-minded individuals, they're going to guide you to ways that you can kind of go back and reiterate that goal. And if it wasn't complete in the last 30 days, you start a new revelation for the new 30 days. And no one says that it has to be done within 30 days, but what you can do is break that goal down and decide when you're going to choose to do what you do and how you're going to get there. How are you going to get up the hill to get to the home in which you've manifested for yourself so you can now become the homeowner of your dreams, of your visions, of your patterns of thought, and then move into it and make it your best creation ever. How do you get there? So the pattern of thought is what you want to write down in specific order. Number one. Number two, I'm going to get up and I'm going to promise myself to do 10 minutes of exercise per day. When I do this 10 minutes of exercise per day, it's going to give me the stamina that I need to make it up this hill, right? When I make it up this hill, my goal is to give myself the 10 minutes every day so that I am successful, so that I am 
Give me one second, entrepreneurs. Hold on. Javi, come here. Have a seat. Have a seat right there. Thank you. So um, I'm, I, I do apologize. We have another student in the room. So now we're at 24. So basically, after you set your goal, you promise yourself these rules and maybe invite someone to justify them, to hold you accountable and tell your group, maybe you can give me in three weeks, four weeks, uh, a reminder. Hey, did you do what you say you were going to do this month? Did you do the 20 minute walks every day? for however many days. And the beautiful part about TikTok and YouTube and Instagram is everyone loves to track their journey with a challenge. Why not drive your journey with a challenge? You know, that is uh, debating um, on how you're going to get up that hill to find your dream of destiny and and be happy because when you finally make it there, that house is waiting for you. That means it's organized, it's secure, it's desired. The structure is sound, you know what I mean? And you don't have as much to worry about at the end of the goal setting as you did at the onset. But it is commitment. That is what the key is. So entrepreneurs, in this coursework, I want you to think about commitment and I want you to write your own definition of what you feel commitment is all about for you. Now, whoo, taking that first step, that's the key. A thousand miles begins with one step. And that's what a goal is all about. And then keeping yourself actively going through what it is that motivates you, the goal you set, the intention you wrote down, the expectation you put upon yourself in order to move and motivate yourself to be all you could be. You created it. It was your manifestation. So you can't go wrong with it. And once you finally have put all these areas into action, guess what happens? That's what happens, entrepreneurs. You're able to walk up and see the beautiful house that you've created with your vision and manifestation that is now yours. You now are owner to it. And you want to open the door and you want to look through the house and you want to see what you've created and you want to celebrate. That is the final thing. And you should do it once a month. You shouldn't wait till the end of the year or you shouldn't wait to go on vacation. You should do it immediately. And every morning I get up, I say to myself, I'm gorgeous. I'm wonderful. I'm successful. I'm committed. I'm dedicated. And whatever I choose to put into motion and in my manifestation is what I begin to work on immediately for the month. So that is what I do entrepreneurs, and I have done it for many years in the entrepreneurial practices of studying myself, making sure that I'm capable of really and truly being an entrepreneur by example, by every day putting my area of thought to the drawing board and making sure that this is right, making sure that this is something that I won't regret or have to go back and repeat again, but also being real with myself that mistakes can easily be made. So a few questions that I do have from the members tonight is how do you stay inspired in order to continue to do these type of videos? Well, the thing that I do is I try my best to remember the high and the low of experience. And that drives me to have topic conversations. In these topics, what I do is I call out the negative vibration that forces me to even create a topic to a channel discussion. I feel that every single topic that I put into the Chronicles of a Nonprofit and all episodes are vital specifically to any and all businesses 
that are primarily new, mom and pop, may not have a degree, but you have the passion, you have the experience and the drive to do what it is you want to do with your success. And I just want to steer it and give you some solutions and suggestions that are going to make you feel empowered. So I thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. I also uh, do apologize. We have, we're um, drying clothes, so you may hear the dryer cut on and off. But again, that's life. That's how it works. Also, I will get to the next question. Um, Let me see how much time do we have. Okay, one more question. At what point do you realize that you are not as professional as you should have been when you are confronted with something that you do not appreciate or accept. Um, the way I do it is I just try to be in the present moment. I try to look at entrepreneurs myself from where I started to where I am. When I look at myself from where I am, I realize that there are no, let me see, how can I put it? There are no ways to express um, specifically how to go back and do what I've done. So you just learn. You just really and truly learn. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. You really and truly learn. Thank you for being in class tonight. Um, So you really learn. And then when you realize that you've done all that you can do, then it just gets greater later. It really does. So I hope you liked, commented, um, and subscribed to this podcast. This is episode 33. Episodes 1 through 12, I think, is very, um, it's private. Those are private videos. So if you become a member of the channel, you will actually receive some of those or all of those videos because what will happen is they'll be um, open, okay? But those were the onsets to the courses, the coursework that was created for the channel Chronicles of a Nonprofit and just introducing our students to what they have uh, enrolled in for leadership classes. So yes, thank you so much for again being here. We appreciate you. We welcome every email, conversation, topic, and question. So feel free to put those in the comment box below, or you can email me at scales, S-C-A-L-E-S, 2-T-O, success, L-L-C, at gmail.com. You have a wonderful and blessed rest of your August, and we'll see you in September.